I was just going to say, everything just stopped working. Oh. Hello, my geeky guys and gals, and welcome to Colleen and Legacy. I'm your host, Mask Geek. This one I found on Game Talk. <coughs> Sorry, I'm eating a minute at the same time as well. How rude of me, I should be more, um, what's the word? Um, sensitive to viewers, not sensitive, more thoughtful to you. It's very, very rude, I know, I do apologise about that. But, this is Colleen and Legacy, as I say, I found this on Game Talk. The thumbnail of it looks really cool, and then when I read the summary of it, it also looked very cool. It is a horror game, but it also includes some element of puzzles. So I don't know whether this is going to have inspiration c coming from Silent Hill, but even if it does, that's going to be awesome, because Silent Hill games, up until, for me at least personally, Silent Hill 3, they were all good. 1, 2, and 3, fucking awesome games. Anyway, what I just want to point out at the very start for this one, this one is an early access game, it's still in development, so we may come across bugs, we may come across glitches, things like that, as you can see from the screen right now there's no options, it is as it is, it is running off the Unity engine and those are mannequins hanging from the tree. I just noticed that. Okay, anyway, so yeah, early access, Unity, might have bugs, let's go, empty profile, click. Uh, okay, enter profile name. I, je suis marche geek. Create. Do you like a little bit of French there? It's nice. I don't speak much French at all. Oh, I've got to click it again. Okay, got it. Oh, look, it's me. Oh, this settings. Oh, can I put the super little titles on? Uh, English, that's good. Um, oh, hell no. I'm going to have maximum graphics. I like those graphic Matron things. They are always good. That'll do. I should have been doing this all at the start. Now that looks good. I can see the graphics difference already. Anyway, Nuzzle Game. It does say continue, but I never played it before. I don't know what to expect on this. All I know is it's a horror game. It's got puzzles. It's got a stupid British guy playing it, so this could go anyway. And it's in early development, so we don't know what to expect. This experience is a small part of the final product. This is a work in progress and might present bugs, just like I said at the start. Oh, hello, Alex. Alex is his name, by the way. That's in its summary. Interesting third person's perspective. Look at that. That is fucking beautiful, man. Mom? Jeez, that's loud. Mom! Mama! Mum! Turn that down a little bit because it was a tiny little bit too loud. Mama! Mum! Press E to interact. Why am I interacting with the paper? This table is really messy. I won't dine here. I can't pick up this item right now. Perhaps if. You can't pick up a piece of paper because you don't have a backpack. Is that some really fucking harsh, um, heavy piece of paper? Damn, so, oh, that is grotty. Uh, really? Who live in a house like this? David, it's over to you. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? You cannot read anything. All because you do not have a backpack. The dishes haven't been done in a while. Okay, that's a cookie tin. I thought it said condoms in. Never mind, I do not know where my brain hole is. There's nothing useful here. Like we said, don't know where my brain brain hole is because there's nothing useful there. I cannot pick this item. <laughs> yeah, that I get it now. Everything's got a definitive weight. Doesn't matter the size of it. Ah, I really miss Granny's cooking. Doesn't matter the size or the weight of it. As long as it's got a backpack, you can shove that thing right inside there. Doesn't matter if it's a piece of paper or a big ass refrigerator. Is there a backpack around there? No, there isn't. Just big ass bees. Alright, so. Hello? Mom? Mama? Mum? Mum? Um. Okay. Let me look see if there's a backpack first, still. Because I'm. I know picture a memory from Granny's younger days. Oh, that picture on the table. Okay, got it. That's a nice painting there with some columns. 
Where are we? Where are these pictures of? Venice? France? Dumbledore? No, he's a person. It's locked. Who did the tongue teat? Alright, let's go see where this noise came from. Mama! I keep saying Mama, because I don't know if there's anything else. Hmm, should I... Yeah, I thought so. It did a little dip on a step. Okay, hmm. Shall I go through the door with a big m red mark on it? Or this door? Oh, this door. Okay. You're doing it already. Mama? Oh, I've got no control. Oh, I've got the flusha light. Now I'm stuck. Okay, I got the torch. The fucking hell's that? Oh, the charge has got a battery. I gotta be careful. I cannot pick this up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, let's take the backpack first. Got it. And then I'll pick things up. Fridges, um, clocks, um, battery chargers. Well, actually, that might actually be handy. So does that mean then I can go to a power outlet, stick that thing in and stick the bat um, flashlights and batteries in there? If that's the case, that's a fucking awesome mechanic. Already right from the get-go, that's good. Birthday card cherished. Happy birthday, Granny. Wow, it's already a 68th birthday. I miss you and I wish we could be there. Yes, Mum, Dad, and I miss you though, and she'll never admit it. An incredibly thick head she's got. Mm. I wish she could just stop it already and go and would go see how you're doing. I mean, she's your daughter in the end. I don't know what what I don't know what happened between you two. Mum will never say. I just know it's about me. Yeah, why am I spilling the beans here? Hey, your birthday card. Ha <laughs> ha I wish you a lovely day. Mum doesn't know how I sent the card. I'll get in trouble when she finds out. No matter. I wanted you to know how much we miss you. Love, Alex. Okay. So now we can start picking things up. Let's go up into this deathly fart cloud here. What are you gonna do? Oh, is it just oh, it's an artifact or something? So, old god's amulet. Okay, I think it spoke something to me. He has spoken. Hold active. Oh, press Q to select a glyph. What? Uh, what is that? Have I collected it? I don't know. It might have actually something to do with the door. Granny's jewelry box. I always wanted to open it when I was younger, but she never told me the code. Oh, okay, we know what it's going to be. A B C D. Know your alphabet. A B C D. Unless it's my my name. Alex, because that's a four letter word. I'm a fucking god. I'm a genius. I got the god I mean, I'm a genius. There we go. My two brain cells are actually working today. Dining room key. Hmm. Well, maybe that could be for the dining room. There's a lot of notes down here. A letter I never sent. My dear daughter, it's with a sore heart I tell you of all the things that have taken place in the last couple of weeks. I cannot sleep. My nights are filled with terrible nightmares. My days are filled with strange noises all around the house. It feels like something is following my every step. Something watches me closely. Something lurks in the darkness, only waiting for a vulnerable moment to attack and claim the sneaky sanity I have left. I write to you, and I plead for despair to take my every breath of hope. And I cannot, and I cannot see the light anymore. I plead, please. Send me someone. Someone can take me away. Who can help me? Madness is slowly draining me, crawling into my every thought. I try to call, but the phone only groans and laughs. I'm at wit's end. Please help me, she said. An alchemist's tale. It reacts to light. I still don't grasp entirely why. 
But it does. Only one is able to see the grist once light shines through the amulet. Oh! I recognise those, those glyphs. I've seen them before. Now, although my memory is not to be trusted, these glyphs are glyphs of power, used in the past and in times when time was still young, to represent an aspect of reality we are not capable of understanding. There is some sort of seal created by a god, capable of sealing a god. Okay, so does that mean then that we've actually got to flash it through this? So we've got to put the torch on, the flashlight on, sorry, my old... The eminent may reveal hidden objects on various secrets. On ver okay. Various secrets on various objects. Okay, that's what I'm thinking there. Fucking torch there, there's my old stupid banal British Humatron coming out. I don't think there is anything. Okay, let's go. Unless. Hello? Was she actually talking about me as the player playing this game? It's like, don't you see him? He's behind you, controlling every movement. That is some Deadpool type fourth wall breaking right there. Okay, it's moving on. So, do we use the Umulet there? Drawers and cabinets might contain useful items. Keep exploring. The Sphinx beckons. It's locked. There's a weird glyph over there. Um. I don't know what I'm doing here. I mean, I'm selecting it. And do I go right up to it? Yeah. Oh! Oh, okay. I had to be right up close. Yeah, just unlock it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I got it. You hold it down. Gotta hold the mouse down. Finish what I started. Cool. Uh, yeah? Okay. So we're using black lights now to hide and see all the hidden lights. Oh, hi, Teddy. Didn't see you down there before. So where can I recharge these? Is this the power outlet? It is. Um, right, so the charger's now in there. Um, still don't know what I'm doing. Right, that's charging. That's cool. Maybe charging. I wonder how long it takes to charge them up. I don't even know how long this game is because, because as I say, consider. I say green light. We got ourselves a green light. Thank you. Uh, no. Uh, let's keep those in. Could I? Oh no, those are the batteries. Right, got it. Okay. Um, can I take the charger now then? Uh, okay, I don't. I think I goofed. You know, I'll just stick those in. Let it charge up, and then it will allow me to pick it up. But yeah, as I said, considering that this is a demo, I don't know how long the game is going to be. Whether it's going to be a ten-minute one although we're already 15 minutes in or whether it's going to be a half an hour one and I think those batteries seem to have a set time recharge rate there we go, it's back up and running okay, that's a weird battery pick up yes, pick those up now got everything what was the picture then? cannot use this item right now kill, didn't want to use the item anyway Oh, follow the white rabbit did that say 
open it. Uh, you said so. Yeah, follow the white rabbit. Why are we in the matrix? Anything there? Oh, there is. Jimmy only whispers words of doom. Alright, well, let's try and avoid Jimmy then. Because he's not a very pleasant person, apparently. Is there something up there? No? Oh, there! Uh, okay. I was just gonna say, everything just stopped working. Oh, hi! Um, I didn't mean to! Oh, I don't do anything! Ah, oh, boss! Okay, run away! Is it blind? It must have seen me will come upstairs. What's he doing? I must. Uh, no, I don't think I am safe. But I think that's going to stay there. So you know what? Screw you! I'm going in here. So what else we got? There's a glyph over there. Wrong glyph. This one. Okay. Did that do something? Something in there. Charles Nursery Rhyme. Almighty, who might it be? If not the sun, the sun and sea. Almighty, who might it be? It's the stars who brightly glee. Almighty, who might it be? The children run and hide and flee. Almighty, who might it be? The moon's son. He came for me. Cool. Oh, there's one there as well. Someone's been a messy pup. Leaving all his notes all over the place. Burning crimson, king of the skies. He came down from the twi twilight bathed clouds besides thunder and storm. A herald of doom and might. A wolf soaring through the ghastly do dome of heavens. His tail an intense red, just like the eye of the abyss. His roar heard throughout the whole of earth. The burning crimson, the blood of creation, loomed above us. Bearing his fangs of death, made of star cloth. Drooping blood on our heads, or dropping blood on our heads, maybe. Bathing us with his might, preparing us for the spell that we would cast later. Later cast. We summoned him. We didn't have enough strength to restrain the son of the moon. We're going to our biting Game of Thrones here now. My son and stars. The burning crimson lent us his power after Palaver and Pact. Why? His quarrel with the sun and moon stretches as far back as the beginning of time. He wouldn't miss the chance to see his father an eternal enemy shackled by the hands of the puny humans, which all of the gods were so reluctant in creating. The burning crimson snarled and laughed with us and he left before Morrow arrived. He said, through a voice of stone, that he ought to teach his father the lesson time itself wouldn't. I was talking about Beelzebub there. That was a little bit creepy. Can we not pick up that? It's locked as oh, right, no, I don't pick it up with that glyph. I gotta find that glyph elsewhere and then I can come back and unlock it. But that mannequin thing also had a glyph thing on its chest. Young Alex's artwork. Me, Gran and Mummy. We're all happy and smiling and there's a weird guy there over there. Don't know who he could be. But the mannequin's got that weird thing on his chest as well, so could we kill it by shining the torch at it? Yeah! That did something to it. And again! Yay! You gotta die now! Okay. So I'm guessing then that with other mannequins, can you. F oh. Yeah, go on, fuck off now. Thank you. So I'm guessing that with other mannequins that are coming here. And that text is now gone. Oh no, it's there. Uh, Jocasta awaits by the roadside. Kill. Hopefully he's a nice friendly person. Birthday cat. Well, yeah, I was going to say. Maybe then there's other mannequins in there as well. It's also got different glyphs on. So we've got to find other glyphs. Because I think that we've got to shine the right glyph at them in order to kill them. And I think I've just broken part of my mask. Kill. Cool. Dear, my dear Alex, 
Congratulations on your 16th birthday. A day full of joy and bliss I wish you, my dear, dear one. Grandma wishes she could be there, but you know your mum. She wouldn't want me she wouldn't want me to. I will give you your gift when you come by. I miss you, my dear, dear one. The best wishes of all. Love grandma. Yeah, I could tell instantly that that was from dear grandmama, but I'm not good at doing voices. I might insult someone by doing the wrong thing on there, so... Oh, wait. Oh, get out. Is the glyph? Run. Nope. I don't need to run. I killed the mannequin thing. I'm a cool. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm bad at doing voices, so that's why I just don't do it. Oh, the key. We got the key. We got the secret. Anyway, never mind. Let's see if we can pick this up. Put your torch a flashlight away. Young prodigy reaches the national finals. Alexander Merzaria, 15, a young prodigy from the small town of Silo, is now the pride city of Naples. Apologies for pronouncing names and cities wrong. England is not also my, well, supposedly my primary language, but I don't even get that right, so if I get the names wrong in your native country from wherever you're from, then I do apologise. I'm not good with your tongue-messing flappy thing. I'm not even going to finish that sentence because that's just wrong. Anyway, Alex, as he is dearly called by his family, managed to beat last year's national chess champion and reach the finals of the third national chess championship. I like to study. I've read lots of chess books, but most of all it's practice and discipline, said Alexander when asked about his secret. The finals will take place next weekend in the city of Naples. We wish Alexander the best of luck. Cool. Just an old stool. Well, shouldn't that be in the toilet? Oh, oh okay, he's thinking about the actual wooden stool that you sit on. It's disgusting. The maniac has been caught! The citizens of Silo can now sleep safely. S Monday last, the 12th of May, the maniac has been caught. After trying to assault a poor old lady who chose to remain anonymous, the maniac, who at the time was still thought to be a petty thief, was caught by a police officer who was just passing by. Law enforcement brought the subjects to the local police station and further investigated. And for after further questioning, he admitted to trying to mug the old lady of her jewel. The fuck? Could I be killed and attacked while reading? Um, squeezing me? Okay, there's a I agree from upon there. Where's that coming from? Okay. I'm just gonna pretend. Oh, I can't read it now. It's gone, isn't it? It's in here. Oh, that sounds close. Okay. Okay. I might be safe. I'm just going to continue. Wrong one. Uh, okay, back. Come, uh, where's it going? Where's the police report? That was the one? No. Where's that police report gone? Okay. How do I get out its E again? Okay, you know what? We messed up on that one. I think we messed up on that one because I'm in danger. I think maybe a photo. Oh, okay. Well, we're trying to pick up the refrigerator. tour. Do not forget the last. So does that mean there's another symbol outside? I don't know, but I do like this mechanic with the torch and the amulet. Trying to find secrets in the house. It's all good, yo. It's all good. Is that that one there? What's that represent? I don't know, it's like a guy in the middle? Something pointing to it? And other people maybe in circulating it? I don't know. Okay. 
Can I? I still can't get you. So. Well, right, that's clicking that amulet just brings it back out. So I guess I need to find the other um, thing. Oh, there's a field of a um, field of vision effect. That's pretty cool. Okay. Right. Um, oh yeah, I got the key, and I. Okay. Coming soon. Okay, nice and short there. I'm gonna play that again because I want to see what was actually upstairs and then I'm going to put my judgement into this game okay back to the same place the door is open even though I don't hear anything follow the white rabbit oh whoa okay it's all changed Okay, why did that happen? Was that just a bug or is that meant to happen like that? Right, I'm following the white rabbit. Following the white rabbit. Following the white rabbit. So you go this way. Do not follow the white rabbit. Why? Why? Something. Look into the looking glass. What looking glass? Huh? What the fuck? What was that? I did not see no looking glass. I did not see no looking glass. Forget about whatever was there. And the writing's gone. Of course. Where's this looking glass? I don't have a battery meter anymore on the flashlight. So... Yeah, kill, maybe. Is that it? Is that done? No, my little white rabbit for paw, paw prints. Am um, I guessing? Oh, yep. Yeah. There's the battery indicator now. Message is gone. That one's still there. Well, that was fun. Uh, it's about time for me to hit the old dusty trail bit. What fucking locking glass was on about though? Oh, that food's rotten. I don't think the tomato ketchup is going to work. Aight, well, guessing that's it. Is that a secret door? No. Certainly felt like it. Alright, well, we done, we gone. Gonzo the Ronzo. Yeah, let's just go. That's it. Okay, well, that was Cornelia. Cornelia, I think it was. Cow. Colina Legacy. There we go. Couldn't remember the name properly. I really enjoyed that. That was awesome. And I really love that mechanic with the flashlight and the batteries and the actual battery charger. How often do you see that in a game? I am kind of going through, um, what is it, Boogeyman 2, which also uses a battery charger to recharge your flashlight batteries instead of actually having to replace their fl flashlight batteries. So it's not unique, however it's not one that you often see either and it makes things so much more realistic and it gives an element of strategy to things as well. You could say like, well, there's a dark area down there and I can see a power outlet. My battery flashlight is at half power. Should I risk going down there and see if I've got enough um, battery juice to get through that section or do I charge up now? For the most part, you probably would want to charge up, but what if you're in a hurry? What if there's some fucking demonic asshole behind you that wants to come and do nasty stuff that Santa wouldn't be proud of seeing? Then you might need to have to run down there. Who knows? There's a good element of strategy to that. It's a good element of realism, that's the headphones off because them's and that's loud. 
So I really do hope that this one comes out because that was cool. The graphics were phenomenal and it was not jump scare centric. I love that, it's not jump scare centric. The, the creatures, the mannequins, now I don't suffer from atomophobia, but can you imagine if someone does and they play this? They're gonna need three fucking layer size type adult diapers to wear this, uh, to play this with. But for me, it, was, it still had its unnervingness as well. Kind of that creature that roared right at the very end. And then when the first mannequin came out, not knowing how to fight it, was it, how do you do it, how do you do it? And just fucking fumble around until you find it and figure it out. And it, it wasn't one of those type of things where I had to die over and over and over again 10 million times just to figure things out. It, was, it, it wasn't holding my hand, which is a good thing. It didn't feel like it was pressuring me to try to figure things out for the sake of the story. You could back off, figure that something out and then go back into it. So I noticed the cliff things on the chest and think, well I'm not going to go with the cliff. Could it work on that? And sure enough it did. So that was really good. I sure, sure hope this comes out. I really do hope it does. I am going to leave a link in the description below. Um, I say I found this on Game Drop, so I will have a link on there. Or B, I use the Game Drop client nowadays. If you also use the Game Drop client, I have noticed though that some games won't launch with it because when I downloaded this on Game Drop client, the only thing I downloaded was the Carlina installer. So what I had to do was click the three dots next to the launch button on the Game Drop client, bring up the uh, view game pad, and um, go to the folder in which the installer file was and double click the installer file to install the game and then I could find the money. It's a weird way things to do it. I would actually prefer that it would work in the same manner as Steam. You've got a front end client and you've got this game that you want to play so all the assets get downloaded into the proper folder and you just use um, a variable a variable that's um, that could either detect that you've got the game drop client if it, and if it's been run by that and if it has been run by that then the variable will go to the right game drop game library whatever it is so maybe that's something i might need to work on there but it's, it's no biggie really i mean i got it running within two minutes so i'm skillful like that the thing that happened in the bedroom though I'm not sure whether that was a bug or whether that was intentional. Because damn son, it was unnerving to see it was completely bone fucking empty like that when I came back up to it. It looked weird, it was strange. But other than that, I've not come across any other bugs at all. One minor bug I saw was a few of the textures when the um, images came up when you were using the glyph blacklight style. When those came up, they flickered a little bit, but... I mean, those can be ironed out in future updates, so that's not a big thing that you can criticise this game on at all. You can't criticise this game on on something like that at all, because it is early access. And the soundtrack was brilliant. Already, I think, on the Game Jolt client, it showed me that there were six tracks available for listening to. That is phenomenal work. I can see that Blood, Sweat and Tears has gone into this game. It's got huge potential. And I'm going to be following this game. I hope that the full game does come out. Anyway, I'm going to wrap things up here. Thank you so much for watching this video, my geeky guys and gals. Smack the like button if you like it. Smack the dis button, uh, dislike button if you didn't like it. Smack the subscribe button when you want to know when more videos are coming out. And hit the bell icon next to it to be part of the notification squad. And I'll see you in the next video. So bye bye. Why is, why is a black light called a black light? It shines ultraviolet rays. Not normal, right? Weird.